What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Night Vendor Rolls. So, we got all our characters, and we're just going to be rolling mostly for Blackstones, because I think I'm going to be upgrading, and if I could find a Kudum for my new Mystic, that would also be pretty good. But anyway, what we really want are hard sharps, Blackstones, and a new Kudum thing, which could be in there. So, yeah. Character one, let's start it up. We got three rolls on this character. Alright, this is good. Two out of three. Three. Alright. So hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas holiday. If you didn't celebrate it, just spent time with your family. Everything went well. And yeah, we are back. The audio is a little bit low. Let me raise that real quick. Uh... Alright, so actually recently, remember how I was upgrading my bags gloves? I finally hit that at Tet at 88 stacks, which is kind of a lot. I wouldn't say it's hard to do, it's just kind of tedious. I think the hardest part is getting it from Pride to Duo, because that one, I usually start between 18 stacks to 20, and then they go all the way up to like 35, and hopefully by then, most of the time I hit Duo by then, but I've had a few instances where the glove did not hit until like 40 something, and I just saved that for another uh, try stack. Alright, so I think I got three rolls on this character. And let's hope for something good. More black stones. More black stones. Ooh, a sharp black bundle. So, yeah, overall, I think I only have one more piece to go, which is the Kudum on my Dark Knight. Uh, the ornamental knot to get to Tet, and then I am fully boss geared out. And after that, I'll, all I have to search for is pretty much just what is it? Uh, accessories, which is like jewelry, ring, and earrings. I actually blew up my Sissel necklace that was duo. That's like 400 mil down the drain because I thought I could hit it a try on 55 stacks, but nope, it blew up. So I'm like, oh, well then. So, anyway. I actually like the Christmas music they play in the main cities. It's kind of nice and calming. And then today is a pretty good day for the attendance reward. We get the fine accessory box too, which is the big thing of the month. Um, you get either an ogre, a Layton's Power Stone, which is basically an ogre. Um, so two out of three chances you get an ogre or a Tungrad ring and the Tungrad ring is like 60 million and most likely after today it's going to go drop quite a bit. So black stones. Ooh, hard. Alright, so cool. Let's go put that in the bank. Believe it or not, you run out of black stones real quickly trying to fail stack something that... I remember when I first started this game, I'd be like, hey, I got like 200 black stones. That's a lot. I could probably sell 100 and be fine. Nope. Nowadays at endgame, 400 goes by in pretty much a few minutes. And <laughs> that's pretty rough. We got some in Heidel City. I actually don't have that much money in Heidel. So uh, I might have to like hold an item and buy it on another character. Which is kind of annoying because I have to like swap characters a lot. So, let's see, do I even have anything on this character? I kind of wish they were all just standing at the night vendor. That would be really nice. I actually thought I wanted to play a witch more often, but then the answer was not really. Because I heard it was easy to grind on a witch, 
just get to like 60 or something is fairly easy, but then it's just not fun. Alright, so let's buy as much as we can here. We're gonna put that in our storage. And then let's go to the Alta Nova one, because that one's actually capped on energy, so I gotta drop that. I don't think I have any money in Alta Nova, so I'm probably gonna have to hold some items. Long loading screen to get in. The beauty of the night is in the fading. Oh, a coot or Nuver shield. That thing is pretty bad. Alright, so let's go on to this character. That one has two rolls. So basically, this is what I do. I don't really touch many of my characters for a while. I just kind of set them as energy batteries and then they fill up over time and then we make videos like this. Kind of want a bundle that gives like three hearts or three sharps. Those are really nice to get. What the heck? A mark of shadow. Dang, those are 7 million? Oh my. I thought people, like, didn't use that anymore and they just straight up went to Crescents. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's heat this one up real quick. Heat the thing up. All right, let me see. How much do I think the mark of shadow? Seven million. Um, so basically under seven point one, and it will sell fairly quickly. Seven oh five. I'm just gonna sell it for seven point oh five. Well, I never knew that cave was there before. What? Did Velia always have a cave there? I did. It must have. Our town is peaceful. Have a pleasant stay. Let me just check that again. I know it's not going to be listed yet. So that should pretty much sell fairly quickly. It was right in the middle. Welcome to Velia. Need to use the storage. We're stocking up on hards and sharps again. Let's go back on to Rakuno. You know of all the characters. I got my Mystic to 55 in about three and a half hours, but I'm still too lazy to get all my other characters from 15 to 50. And I probably should do that. The beauty of the night is in the fading vestiges of the day. Alright, what's characters next? The Sork. Actually, let's go in our Ranger.
Because that ranger is the one at negative karma, so it pretty much get attacked by guards. And I want to get this one out of the way. I kind of wish at the like blacksmith or just a general store you could downgrade your weapons or armor. Because this character has negative karma just to when I'm fail stacking. The way it works in this game is if you're at negative karma, you can get attacked by guards in town. Or you're pretty much red in the cities, that means people can attack you. And if you're if you die, your gear downgrades at a chance. So it's kind of a stupid mechanic, but whatever. All right, next on our list is our sorceress. It actually looks really nice with all uh, all of this on it. Probably gonna be our thumbnail. The beauty of the night is in the fading vestiges All right. of the Now day. we're just getting black stones, which is not bad. I am going to need it. I heard Sorceress was actually one of the tougher classes to play. It's because it's like, it's not, it does a lot of damage, but it's just hard to play. Next is our Striker that pretty much got abandoned after the Mystic came out. Actually, I have a hat on this character. Eh. Actually, let's put... I somehow doubt I'm going to play this again, so let's just put stuff on here. I might go back and get it to 56 one day when I get my uh, Kudum and the Zarka up to, like, try or something. What is that Nuver trinket for 346 million? What a joke. For 346 you can get like a duo one or at least a pry one. Ugh. Ooh, hard or sharp. Well, that's good. We're getting a lot of uh, sharp shards today. Because I'm definitely going to need that. And in about like four minutes, we're about to roll for a box thingy. That we're probably going to get a Tungrad. Even though there's a two out of three chance you could get some sort of Ogre Ring. I'm mostly, with my luck, I'm just going to get the worst possible thing. By the way, if you guys are wondering why all my characters are just sitting in Velia, it's because um, Velia is the only place that you can buy Reblath, and that's where I do a lot of my fail stacking and enhancing. You found me. Is this a sleepless night in Velia? Ooh, another one. But if I could choose any place to keep all my characters, if uh, Reblath sold in every town. It would probably be Heidel, because I just like Heidel a little bit more. Alright, 
Next is our Tamer. I actually wanted to play the Tamer because it has the pet and it just seems like a really cool class to play. But, um, yeah. Gearing characters in this game is expensive. I got all the boss gear to Tet, but getting a Dandelion is probably one of the most difficult things to do. Of all the night vendor rules, I actually haven't seen any dandelions lately. So I think it's like they must have dropped a or lowered the chance of you getting a dandelion. That's actually how I got my uh, dandelion vediant for my dark knight from the night vendor. I think I got it at like two hundred and ten million. Which actually isn't even that bad. You know I need space. Here, have a Santa hat. Does my tamer look funny with the Santa hat? Oh, that's kind of weird, actually. Next we have... Well, we're going to go log into Kuno and just get two more rolls. Of the day. Let's see, so we have three more characters after this one. Hopefully we get something good. You know, they said they added the Kudum, but I haven't seen anything. I have only seen Nuvers, and I'm pretty sure only like the high-end people use Nuvers. But um and those are very limited because everyone just uses Kudum or some other offhand. Alrighty. You found me. Is this a sleepless night in Velia? More Blackstones. Change his name to the Blackstone vendor. Our dailies reset. Welcome to Velia. Need to use the storage. So this is the character I should get the box on. All right, the highlight of the week. We got the box. All right, guys, so it is a two out of three chance we get an ogre ring. Everyone seems to be getting this. My, with my luck, I'm going to get the tongue grad. We're going to stop at 22. Oh my god, if that rolled one more, I would have been upset. Oh, a latent. Our town is peaceful. Easy money, max priced. In about, like, five minutes from now, I guarantee you, if people look at Ogre, this is going to be filled up. There's going to be some prize. And Layton's, like, one I just sold, or I'm going to sell, there's going to be a lot of these. You know, I actually thought of just keeping it, but um, somehow I don't think it's going to, like... 
I don't know. Just blowing up ogres is probably going to give me a heart attack one day. <laughs> If you see the chat right now, look at how many Leightons and Ogres and Tungreds are just being sold on the market. You know 100% the price is going to drop. I actually want to check it right now. Tungrad. Tungrads are going for 63.8 million right now. In about 10 minutes from now. Or like 15 minutes when things actually start getting posted, it's going to go down a lot. Kuno has one more, and then we have two more on here. The beauty of the night is in the fading vestiges of the day. Alright, our last two rolls for the week, and then we'll let the batteries fill up again. All I see in my chat is just Leighton's, Tungrads, and Ogres just being listed. This would be a good time to just start smashing for Pry, Pry and Duo, Ogres, but eh. I feel like with my luck, I'd just break it. Today was actually really generous. So much money is about to be flooded on the market with just people smashing ogres. Me. Is this a sleepless night in Velia? And here I am, just buying black stones. No big deal. But anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic time here. We did quite a few rolls of the Night Vendor. I'll probably, I don't know how many we did, but I'll probably add them all up in the title of this video. So, with that said, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh wait, actually, uh, it's in Heidel, never mind. But everything is pretty much done. All the batteries are drained, and I will see you guys later.